I was asked a question on YouTube about numbers and bullets, and I thought that this was a good opportunity to go ahead and record a video on it, because while it might seem simple, uh, you're definitely going to see this on the certification test for Microsoft in Word or PowerPoint. And if you've taken any of those tests before, you know that they're going to try and find some obscure uh, thing that you're not used to doing in Word. And so let's go ahead and talk about that here in this video. We're on the Home tab. We're in the Paragraph group. And here at the top, we have different settings, uh, bullets, numbers, and a multi-level list. But let's go ahead and start with bullets. I'm going to go ahead and click just the, the three dots and lines to show you that it will go ahead and put in a default bullet here but maybe we don't like that. Uh, maybe we would prefer one of these fancy things. We could just, uh, by clicking the drop down here, look at the bullet library. And if none of these satisfy your need, you can go ahead and um, click define new bullet, which is great because you have a uh, symbol here and, and Word is loaded with a ton of symbols if that's what you would prefer to use. But you're not limited to symbols. You could load pictures from your hard drive if. If you have an icon or a picture you'd like to use as a bullet, you could do a Bing image search, which would open you up to the internet. Or if you have something loaded on your OneDrive account, you could uh, browse to your files there. We'll close out of these things. And we'll go ahead and delete this bullet. Let's go to look at numbers here. We're still in the paragraph group, and I uh, can click this right here, and it puts in a default number. But um, you're not limited to those either. Uh, you have Roman numerals, you have the alphabet, upper and lower case. Um, but you can also do different things like define new number set and here up at the top you have similar to what you had before you could change the number format here left right center and uh, something else that I think is pretty cool now there's a few ways to do what I'm about to do but I feel like this is the easiest uh, sometimes you don't want to start with the number one maybe you wanted to start with the number 25 and you don't want to go around and try and monkey with a bunch of settings and mess up your document. An easy way to change the, the start number is to actually just right click here and click set numbering value. And then you could change this from one to 25. And it starts with the number 25. And when I go and I start keying in different things for my list, notice it just keeps going through those numbers. We'll go ahead and delete these out now. Now there's one other thing I want to show you and it's it's a really cool feature in Word and it's called a multi-level list. Now a multi-level list allows you to, as you're building your list, you're going to have sub points and you can change the different styles of how you want that list to look. So we'll go ahead and start here. Notice it went ahead and it gave us the number one. So we'll do that and let's say we have two sub points under one. Notice it went from numbers to letters here and uh, it would go through the entire alphabet here but maybe here um, I have a sub point under A and notice each time I indent it gives me a different uh, setting predefined setting here now we could go through here and change all of those settings to find new list and you could do the what you want and change the settings here that's just a quick overview of numbers bullets and multi-level list